Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how we here at Just a Brick in the Bucket use brick stock to modify our inventory to keep up to date with the current six month sales average, um, specifically for all the pieces we have in our store. So to start out, the, the link to brick stock is in the description. It is a very self-explanatory install. All you do is click the, uh, click the link in the description. It'll open you up to the brick stock page. In the center of the page, there should be a green button that says download. Click that and then follow through with the installation process. Not hard at all. Once you do open Brickstock, this is what you will see here. Now, if you're on a Mac, you can go up to the top left and click Brickstock. If you're on Windows, I'm not entirely sure, but there's another way to get there, I'm sure. Essentially, what you need to do is open up the settings or the preferences for Brickstock. All that matters in here to start using it as a seller is to go to the network tab and then type in your BrickLink username and your password. Once that's all set up, you just click OK and now you're ready to modify inventory. So honestly, the setup is that easy. There is a paid version and there is a free version. I use the free version. The only difference is that every 20 minutes on the free version, a small pop-up pops up that says, hey, you're using the free version. All you have to do is click the OK button or the close button. I don't remember what it says exactly. It'll probably pop up in just a few minutes, actually, to be honest. And we'll get to see what it says. But that'll pop up, and then uh, you just click OK, and now you can continue using it. So to start out, what I'm really going to show you how to do today on Brickstock, and this is kind of the biggest thing and really the nicest thing about it, in my opinion, is how to adjust the price of your inventory. So with this being said, once it's opened, this is a blank project. You may not have this bar up here. If you don't, that is okay. It just means no project is open. If you want to open a new one, you can click this button here. And now, let me close these actually real quick. If I save, or don't save these. There we go, this might be what it shows up as. Then you can click this file, little thing in the top left, and that'll open a new project. So what we'll want to do to open a uh, our inventory once we're signed into Brickstock is click the file button and then import, and I apologize that that's kind of missing. And then you'll just have to click Import BrickLink Store Inventory, and this will be your entire inventory. So once you click that, it'll download your entire inventory, in our case, 111,132 pieces. And now you can see all the information on here. So this is much better than going to you know, your store and your inventory where you have to scroll through and view all the pieces like this, and it really is quite a disaster. So Brickstock is a really nice way to be able to see everything in your inventory. So let's say that uh, we want to change all these prices to the current six month sales average. The really, really great thing about this is all that information is pulled directly off BrickLink so we can do that. It is very difficult to do that in BrickLink um, if, if there's even a way, I'm not even sure. As far as I know, you have to go through and manually change the price of each piece, um, which would be the most inconvenient thing in the world when you have any amount of lots over like 100. <laughs> so what we're going to do here specifically, we just want to, let's just say we want to part, or uh, not part, but the um, price each piece, but not the instructions. The nice thing about this program is we can sort by whatever we would like. So it's very much like a spreadsheet program. If you want to sort by color, you can click the color tab and it'll sort by color and you can see all the colors you have. In this case, we're going to sort by item type, and then uh, if you scroll all the way to the top, you'll have instructions, and then minifigs, and then parts, and then at the bottom there will be sets if you have any. I don't think we have any at the moment. So what we want to do specifically is set all of the pieces and the parts to the past six month sales average, including minifigs, but not including instructions. And the reason being there is our instructions we always sell for one cent just to try to get rid of them. So with that being said, we're going to click on the first minifig at the top here, and then we're going to scroll all the way to the bottom, hold shift, and click the very last piece there. Now the amazing thing about Brickstock is it'll do this for you on its own. There's nothing you have to do except click this button up here. And this is the one with the dollar sign and the little equal sign. You can also right click, go to price, scroll over to set to price guide. You can also do command G or control G. So in our case, I'm going to do command G. Once you click that, this menu is going to pop up. Now, this is the, the little amazing menu. All you have to do is select what you want to set it to. You can set it to the all-time sales, last six months sales average, current inventory. You can also set it to the maximum um, or the minimum or the quantity average. So in this case, I'm going to click this little checkbox just to make sure all the prices are currently up to date as of right now. 
and then I'm simply going to click this OK button. Now Brickstock is going to get to work and it's going to go find all the prices and update every single piece of my inventory here. So you can see in the bottom right down here, it is loading and there's that tiny little load bar underneath my little uh, beach ball of death there. And now you can see all the prices have been updated. And again, this is only for the pieces that we had selected. And now that they're updated, we can scroll through and if you see any little red boxes, then uh, th and it'll be very clear. It'll be on the price. It'll be a red box and it'll pop out. And if you don't see anything perfect, if you do see something, that means there's errors and that the price guide is set to zero or something. Um, and that's your error. When you upload to BrickLink, it'll also let you know. Now, here's the important part. So now that everything's been updated, super awesome, super easy, what we're going to do is select everything. So Command A or Control A, depending on the computer you're on. Now you're going to go to File and then Export. Now here's the important part. You want to click BrickLink Mass Update, not Mass Upload. If you were to click Mass Upload, it would upload all these pieces and combine the lots, meaning it would double what you have in your inventory. So we want to make sure we click Update. By clicking this BrickLink Max Update button, it'll copy all the information. It says this list contains items with errors. That's okay in this case. We'll check it out once we get there. I'll show you what it's like. It'll then open a new tab of BrickLink and it'll bring you to this upload page. Now the key here is it had the page scroll down to this part. And you can see if it says verify updates, that's the part you want. Now what you don't know is that it copied an XML file to your clipboard. So all you have to do is click in this text box and do Control V or Command V depending on the computer you're on. And it'll paste everything into this field and this is all the items and pieces that we just looked at. Now all we have to do is click Verify File. Now sometimes this takes a little bit of time as it is looking through a hundred however many thousand pieces. Um, so you can see once you scroll through everything should be here and then here's where those errors are. So now the price cannot be zero is what this error is. So all we have to do is go back to Brickstock and we'll find uh, where the price is zero. So we'll click the Price tab and it'll sort by price. Now we can scroll up and see what we're looking for and it is these two uh, things. So these are custom pieces I had to put in because um, I decided to build them as opposed to part them out. What I'm going to do here, and this is what you can do as well if you have pieces like that, I'm going to do Command A or Control A and then I'm going to hold Command or Control and just deselect these. So now they're not included which is perfect. Now we're going to go File, Export, Mass Update and then click Yes. There are 2,711 items. That is the amount of lots you have selected because I don't have these two selected. Do you want to export these? Yes is the answer. Um, apparently there are still errors. We'll find out. Now we can go ahead and paste that in. Here's the key. Now that we had this one that had errors, uh, it probably would just be best to close this out. And then we can click Verify File on this next page. Then it'll follow through, do the same exact process it just did. And again, we can scroll through and hopefully we don't see any errors. It doesn't look like there's any errors now. And it says 1,210 lots ready to be updated. Now, if you noticed in our brick stock here, we have 2,713 lots. But this one only says 1,210. Reason being is if we scroll through, we can probably find a few. If I can find them, maybe not. I'm not sure. But some of these won't be updated. Uh, that's too many to scroll through. Some of them won't be updated due to the fact that the price has not changed. So if the price has not changed, there's nothing to update. So now what we do is click Submit Updates. It'll go through and change all of the information in our store and actually submit the updates. So now what we've done very quickly, and it took me a lot longer because I was talking about everything, but in about two to three minutes, you can download your inventory, update everything to the past six month sales average, and re-upload to BrickLink, and everything will then be updated. In my opinion, this is the best thing possible and the best way to use brick stock. Um, there are more ways you can part out pieces here. You can part out sets. Um, and personally, we don't do that here. We just use it to really manage our inventory like this and to see where stuff is. But you're also able to put everything on sale in here. You can put comments in here, remarks. Everything you could do in brick link on the website, you can do here in brick stock. Oh, and here is that little pop-up actually now. So you can see it says brick stock, whatever. Um, you can change the mode of operation. You know, if you want to register it, it costs, I believe it's $20. Right now we're in the demo mode. And this will pop up every 20 minutes. All you have to do is click that OK button. So why pay for it? Because I've also heard that that, that uh, link doesn't work. I'm not entirely sure, but 
uh, apparently paying for it doesn't actually do anything at the moment. So let's go check our BrickLink. Here we are. So file successfully processed and everything has been updated, meaning now we can go back into our inventory. And there's no real way to check this except to check this bottom here and make sure this price here, 1635190, matches down here, 163. Reason that doesn't match <laughs> is because of these two pieces here. So if we go into the land animals, and I don't really want to do this, but if we were to go in here and find these two, and these are 352 and 379, respectively, 352. So we'll go in here and type in 3.52. What was it? 379, 3.79. Now with those typed in, we are at 1635190. And if we go back here, we can verify that number there. 1635190, exactly. So as long as those numbers match, you know everything's in here. You also want to make sure your total items and your total lots matches brick stock versus brick link. Here's what I would recommend doing though. You are able to download your inventory. The safest thing to do before you do anything in Brickstock is to download your inventory and have a backup just in case it doesn't upload or uh, update correctly. That's pretty much all I have for Brickstock today. That's that's the easiest way and the best way to use it at the moment. There are way more features inside of here that you can do, but that's what I use at the moment. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Hopefully this one didn't go too long. I tried to keep it relatively short. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and click that like button. And if you have not yet subscribed, go ahead and think about doing so. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you in the next video, and have a great rest of your day.